Thierry Henry is one of the best footballers of all time, and of course, an Arsenal legend. Well, I think we just found the next Thierry Henry. Our new Youth Academy star could be the next big thing. And also, speaking of Thierry Henry, we are currently unbeaten in the Premier League right now. Now, we're only eight games in. I'm not saying we're going to go invincible this season. That's highly, highly unlikely, but as of now, we haven't lost a game yet. Like, this team right here is playing absolutely amazing, especially after the addition of Declan Rice into the squad. Well, we are without our star keeper in Ramsdale for another two months, and we signed Emmanuel Neuer to take his place. And we'll see if we can keep up this just amazing, amazing form with maybe the help of a new star in this team. So drop a like, hit that sub button down below, and let's get into it. Okay, first comment, get a young under 21 backup for Neymar in case of injury. Yeah, it's very funny because Neymar is actually 32 years old, but we may have just found his new backup, I think. Which youth players are going to be in the Kensington career mode? Yeah, so pretty much, I'm, I'm pretty sure our next series is going to be the Kensington Creative Club. You know how you start with a squad like a bunch of unnamed players, like generic players? Instead of doing that, we're going to have youth players from every series we've done so far this year in FIFA 23. So Barcelona, Liverpool, Wolves, Arsenal, Real Madrid, all those youth players we found are going to be in that Kensington starting squad. Like, name appearance everything we're only going to change the rating to go way lower down to whatever league we start in so like if we start in league two then probably all the ratings would be down to like a, in the 50s maybe like for example gabriel Ferreira will be in our creative club series in that starting squad and also any other youth player we found which is very fitting towards this episode actually and last one signed trossard he just joined arsenal yeah i i just read this literally right now that apparently it's already confirmed like trossard is going to arsenal they went from mudrik to now leandro trossard for like 25 million ish i feel like in real life it's not a horrible signing but in our save i feel like it doesn't really make sense we're gonna scout him but i don't really see how we'd help this team that much he's probably like in the low 70s or high 70s actually like how would trussard fit into this team i feel like he wouldn't so i'm not sure if we're actually gonna go after him in this save could be a january signing so we'll scout him and see what we think but okay we sent scouts out to france netherlands and then germany we've only ever found one youth player in this series like we have very bad luck that player being only gabriel ferreira but today i think we're adding to that list we found number two Rich yepsen is that how you say that i'm not even sure but he found us a gem and his name is samuel paris i mean come on that's just a sick name but he's 6-1 his potential range is pretty wide 75 94 but his value is 5.5 million pounds i mean that's insanely high for a youth academy player so we're gonna see just how good this kid is introducing officially samuel paris so he starts out at 72 rated like that is insanely good so left mid he's right footed 6-1 he's got four star weak foot i mean he's not like insanely quick he's actually got 85 sprint speed that's not bad i'm seeing a lot of green which also makes me very happy looks like a very well-rounded type winger with a 74 finishing could play striker too how tall was Thierry Henry? wasn't he like 6-3 or what is he 6-2 he literally has the stats of Thierry Henry pretty much. I mean, like the base stats, you know what I mean? Of a youth academy player that looks like Thierry Henry. He's also got the finesse shot and the flare trait. I mean, without a doubt, we're signing this kid up. And uh, his potential tag is has potential to be special. Hey, Samuel Paris is the real deal, I think. He looks like he'd be so good. Literally, the next Thierry Henry. Now, 14 and 12 were taken, so let's do like a high number. I feel like maybe 34. I like the I like for Samuel Paris. We're gonna make him a, a left winger, though. Which uh, that'll take seven weeks. I'm not sure why, but it'll take that long. He's gonna get his chance in the episode, and we're gonna see how good he is. He just looks like a star in the making. And I mean, we did need a backup left wing. I feel like we got Marquinhos. We don't really have another winger, so to say. So I think we literally just found him in Samuel Paris. If the kid is good, which we're going to find out right now. First game, that was going to be Southampton. And this is going to be, it's going to be a 1-1 one -one draw. Okay, so we don't lose, but we also drop points. I know Martinelli scores. I don't really like to see that though. Our next game is Carabao Cup against Shrewsbury. Perfect game for Samuel Paris. So we got a front three of Samuel Paris, Iker Bravo, and Marquinhos. This is his chance to prove himself. And I'm feeling very optimistic here. I mean, sometimes we find a youth player that looks good and he's not good. And then sometimes like vice versa how good is samuel paris gonna be and also a little side note a little side story in this game i don't want to lose to shrewsbury that would be absolutely embarrassing all right Ikir bravo up to samuel paris he's making that run he's making that run almost gets to it almost takes out the keeper too that was uh some high level aggression whoa what a leap was that gabriel i've never seen a person jump higher than that all right paris into marquinhos we got the youngsters combining marquinhos that dribbling is insane paris over to Ikir Bravo shot. Not a bad move by the youngsters. Marquinhos ball in. Ferreira almost got that. The other youth player out too. It's going to be Ferreira again shot. It's going to be blocked. Paris, what do you got from the finesse shot? You got the finesse shot trait. Okay, that one's going to be blocked. Work small round. Work it around. Is that Paris? It is Paris for a debut goal. The ball just finds him. Our new youth academy star scores on his debut. Maybe the next Terry Henry. He looks like it. Reminds me when Terry Henry came back to Arsenal and he scored when he was on loan. Was it in the EFL Cup? I'm pretty sure. Reminds me of that. I mean, the ball just found him in a good spot, and it's a simple, simple finish for our new youth star. Maybe. Of course, Mikel Arteta is loving it. It only took him 18 minutes to score his first goal. The kid's got a lot of potential, and if he impresses in this game, he has a chance to find some game time in the Prem too. Oh, they actually scored that. 
Is that Flanagan? That's not the Flanagan I'm thinking of. No, it's not. How did they score from this corner, though? Not gonna lie, that was Samuel Paris going up for that header. I mean, he's, he's not a he's not a center back, so I'm not gonna blame him too much. But I mean, he was marking the man that scored that. Okay, what is happening right now? Wait, that defender had so much pace there. Boys, Shrewsbury are giving us issues. Good save. I shouldn't even be surprised. It's it's FIFA and it's Shrewsbury, a small team. And not gonna lie, Shrewsbury are giving us the work. Makes me kind of sad to say. Last 15 minutes have been all Shrewsbury. I don't even know what league they're in. What are they in? League one? Gallagher gives it to Smith Rowe. Smith Rowe tries to get it to Paris. Paris almost got to that. Okay, they might go up 2 1 at halftime. They might. They might. Oh, what a good move. What a. What an amazing move from Shrewsbury. I think it's probably Shrewsbury, huh? Not Shrewsbury. It's Shrewsbury. Shrewsbury. I got it right this time. I had a feeling this game was going to be tricky. I just had a slight feeling, and it, it has been tricky. Halftime, we are down 2 1. I'm sorry. We're not losing this game. I'm calling it right now. We are not losing this game. Oh, Paris is in again. Paris is in. Maybe for a second. In for a second. I took a little bit too too much time to shoot there oh man if we would have shot quicker we might have had a goal there marquinhos almost just stole that too oh no oh no they might make they're gonna actually gonna make it 3-1 right now bro shrewsbury i've just played so well in this game we still got time i gotta make subs though ikir bravo was having a stinker so for me no one for him and then i think uh mckenny for gallagher you know we're gonna switch smith Rowe and patino because i feel like smith Rowe has not done anything in the midfield in this game can we make a 3-1 comeback right now paris are you on side i think he's on side paris Chance for a tap in. We're going to go to Marquinhos, get the first sure goal, and he gets an assist. And this is 3 2. Unselfishness from our new youth star. Okay, within one goal again. Can we get back in this game, please? It's always nice to have a youth player that is unselfish. All right, Nuno Tavares up to Weston McKenney. Good ball. McKenney gets it to Tavares into Paris. Paris finesse shot. Samuel Paris just scored an absolute banger. That is the finesse shot trait right there. That finesse shot was beautiful. Okay, he's he's the next big thing. After that goal, I'm calling it. He's got the name of a superstar, and that was a superstar goal right there. Just picks it up from, that's like, what, 20, probably 23 yards out, and it's just a perfect finesse shot. Oh, that, oh, that is just beautiful. The kid's got two goals and an assist on his Arsenal debut. And more importantly, this game is tied up. But Kenny threw about Marquinhos. He's not going to get that low. Can he fight, though? He almost actually put a lot of pressure on that defender. You know, Marquinhos. Marquinhos back to gonna get it back to Paris. Paris, okay, it was too slow there. Right there, he showed uh, the youth player Russ. All right, don't let him score again. So if they do, I'm gonna be so upset. What are these moves? Once again, this is Shrewsbury. They're they're playing so well. Ferreira, good tackle though. All right, we're gonna do Martinelli for Marquinhos, and then let's do Odegaard for Patino, and we will leave it at that. We got some big boys in the field now. Got some starters to help us help close out this game, maybe, or help us win it. Ball into the box, dangerous, very dangerous, dangerous. That was uh, at least standing strong. Gabriel, it was good defending. Dangerous spot. Don't let Shrewsbury score a winner here. I swear. Corner sent in. Gabriel Ferreira, good clearance. And now West and McKenney through to Martinelli. We need help though. Oh, we just ruined that chance. Martinelli. McKenney steals it back. Okay, we're good. Firmino through to Paris. Paris. Oh, we went for the left. Oh, okay, that was the hero play we shouldn't have made. Oh, we should have passed that to Odegaard. All right, let's go to penalties. At least we salvaged 3 1 to penalties. Are we actually gonna, gonna get knocked out by Shrewsbury though? All right, first up, Emil Smith, bro. We're gonna go top left. Top, actually, top right. And it's a goal. All right, come on. We gotta save these pens. It's Shrewsbury. They gotta be bad at penalties. They gotta be. Odegaard, you are the captain. Top right again. Top right. And of course, the keeper saves it. All right, he's gonna go. He's gonna go left. Oh, what a save. Roberto Firmino. We're gonna go top left. Top left. Good penalty. Okay, we gotta save this one. Come on, we gotta save it. He's gonna go left again, and we save it again. Samuel Perez up for his penalty. Now, he's not the greatest at penalties, but I feel like he should score his, and he does. All right, this is for the win. This for the win. Oh, I thought they were going to left again. They go right. All right, Weston McKenney to seal our continuation in the Carabao Cup. Bottom right, bottom right. And we do actually survive the Shrewsbury Derby. Shrewsbury Derby. Why was that so difficult? I don't know. They played so well, though. We shouldn't be celebrating this like we just beat uh, Man City in the title race. What are we doing here? I got to say, though, Samuel Perez, two goals, an assist. Probably could have had a hat trick, scored his penalty. You can't get much of a better debut than that. I think we're going to be seeing a lot more of Samuel Perez, especially in this episode. He's played good enough. Okay, next time, Everton, that's going to be four to jesus jesus second got a red jesus hat trick plus neymar saka why are you going to get sent off though um porto again the champions league that's 2-0 courtesy saliba and neymar now we got once again the north london derby so we're in first spurs are in third and funny enough saka is out this game in that right mid spot so you know what i think we're giving it right to samuel paris starts in the north london derby at that right mid big opportunity for him so it's a premier league debut for paris and also we're trying to keep this unbeaten record look at him the next terry on re in his first uh, north london derby now he's not playing as attacking so he probably won't won't uh, be as involved in goals, but he's a threat on that wing, just like Saka is when he plays there. I want to try and stay unbeaten as long as he can. If we can, if we can replicate the Invincibles, that'd be amazing. Although I just don't see it happening. We are gonna try though. Declan Rice gives it to Odegaard. Odegaard, 
Find Jesus, maybe Odegaard. They're laying off you. Odegaard shot. It's going to be right at Castillo's and goal, though. Jesus over to Martinelli. Martinelli has transformed this series so much. Started out so bad, but he's been so good. That's going to be a, that's going to be a weird clearance. Paris win that. Paris wins it to Odegaard. In to Gabriel Jesus. A little bit of space. Lower driven shot. It's well defended by Davies. All right. Corner sent in. Out by Neymar. Brozovic. Spurs made some pretty good signings. They got Tapsoba, Brozovic. They got uh, Muzman Dembele, too. Oh, Martinelli just steals it, though. Martinelli through to Jesus. Waiting for someone. Neymar, I see you. Neymar, you're going to be free there. Neymar. Mark. We headed to Martinelli. That was a bit uh, ambitious. Declan Rice into Martinelli. Martinelli, what a turn into Samuel Paris into Jesus and Paris has an assist and it's one note Arsenal. Jesus scores. Okay, Samuel Paris is having such a good episode so far. 17 years old and the man is like built for the moment. Finds Jesus for the easy, easy tap in. All right, 21st minute. That is one nil. Jesus up to Neymar. Neymar. A little bit of dribbling, a little bit. Gonna go for that shot inside Odegaard. Out to Kieran Tierney. Tierney cross in. It is gonna be Gabriel Jesus right at the keeper again. Neymar out to Samuel Paris. All the way on this left hand side now. Managers everywhere. Going around a few. Samuel Paris finesse shot. Oh, if he would have scored that, that would have been absolutely nuts. Odegaard, Declan Rice into Paris again. He's just getting into very good spots. Although, as saying that he loses the ball, I just jinxed him. Spurs like look so flat footed right now. We're just winning every single ball. Neymar out to Martinelli. Let's get the second goal. Martinelli, can we find Jesus. We're going to try to. Okay, that actually works. That actually works beautifully. Into Odegaard. That was that was a chance. Declan Rice into Samuel Paris. We're going for a power shot. Why not Samuel Paris? Okay. That one wasn't that great. I still haven't scored a power shot in so long. All right, might be the last tag of the first half. That's going to be out by Gabrielle. He might be in control of this game, but it's still only 1-0. This game is still very, very close, and it could be equalized right now. Son, double save by Neuer. Oh, Manuel Neuer, what a save. Neuer has been so good since we signed him. This game's 1-0 heading into the second half, though. Come on, this feels like a game where we got to score this uh, second and take control, even more control, because I think we're playing much better than the Spurs right now. Brozovic, Declan Rice, Declan Rice, what a great tackle. Can this lead to a counterattack? Now, Spurs, they have like five men back at all times. That's why it's hard to counterattack them. We got to work this ball around. Paris, can we find Jesus there? Maybe, maybe not. Paris, switch the play out to Kieran Tierney. Tierney lays it off to Jesus, in to Declan Rice, Odegaard. Gets it over to Gabriel Jesus. Ow, I put a little too much power on that one. That was a well-worked move. Just put too much power. Declan Rice on Basuma again. Okay, Declan Rice is having such a good game. Come on, get this second goal. Odegaard, can we find Jesus maybe? Odegaard looking for a pass. Jesus might be there. Okay, they're just the five at the back is so hard to break down. We got to be a bit more clever than that. Oh, this is a good move. Very good move. We got to go for a tackle there. Oh, we got it through. Man, I should have been more conservative. We had to make that tackle there and make that interception. We did not. Of course, they score. Just feels like one of those games where if we don't score a second, they're going to score eventually. Also, Normal defending by me. Okay, 64th minute. This game is 1-1. Martinelli out to Paris. Paris into Martinelli. Swing it. Swing it. Okay, that was a great tackle by Brozovic. Oh, that is so awkward. Neuer, what a save. Neuer can't make the rebound save. And it's 2-1 to Spurs. How have they turned this around so quickly? This is just so unlucky, though. It's a free kick that's sent in. And first header, awkward. He makes a great save. Just can't get the rebound. That is incredibly unlucky. We are 2-1 down. The unbeaten record is on the line now. Oh, man. Shed Spence into RBT. Raul de Tomas. I know his name now. I, I, I didn't know it before. Okay, Neuer, great save. All right, we're going to do Marquinhos for Martinelli. He's a little bit tired. And I think we're going to do Weston McKenney for Declan Rice. I need a little bit more attack. And again, this game is score a goal, maybe. All right, Dembele is kind of just running away from us right now. What is happening? Neuer, good save again. Out of all teams to maybe ruin our invincible record, I don't want it to be Spurs. As for the Quetta, what are you doing for Spurs? Okay, Neuer is making save after save here right now. That was Tap Soba who just shot that too, by the way. Son, corner sent in. That'll be cleared by Marquinhos. And we get a free kick. Come on, boys. We got to tie this game up. McKenney into Jesus. Jesus. Oh, I didn't like that shot. Over to Neymar. Neymar, you got space for the finesse shot. It was not good enough, though. On corner send in again. Marquinhos gets it out. Honestly, things are just not going away right now. We're not getting the bounces anymore. Literally, right when I said the bounces were going our way, they stopped going our way. But Weston McKenney up to Jesus. Jesus, what a weird angle. Keeps it. Keeps it. Oh, he's dribbling on everyone. He needs help, though. Jesus, over to Paris. Paris, we find Neymar. We find Neymar. Neymar into McKenney. McKenney around the keeper. McKenney. Oh, it's going to be just wide. It was an open net. Tapsoba just saved him. Come on, boys. Tie this game up. Odegaard. Good. Corner in. Saliba can't get it, though. I am feeling a goal here. I'm feeling it. Saliba. Saliba. I see you. Oh, I was feeling it. And Saliba scores. This game is 2-2. Saliba is so good from corners. It's almost what's like keeping him in the starting 11 right now. The unbeaten record might be. Say, okay, Neuer, calm down. You're like 38 years old. Calm down. We should have really won this game. We still could win it. But at least right now. It's tied up. Neymar up top. Uh, Paris to the left wing. And we're going to bring on... Let's do Indica and make him a right wing back just for more defense. Honestly, I'd rather draw this game than lose it, of course. So, I'm going to... I think we're going to hold hold this scoreline, maybe. I mean, that is if we can, because I'm not even sure we can do that. Make the tackle. Gabriel, he's just so good. Boys. Hold. Oh, no. Unbeaten streak. Son. No. 
get the defense. Oh, Neuer, what a save. Tyranny, please keep it in. Need oh, he's going to let it out go for a corner. He couldn't get to it fast enough. What a save by our emergency signing, Manuel Neuer. Marquinhos gets it out. They get one more attack. One more final attack. RDT, Gabriel, good tackle. Is that going to be it? Oh, that's going to be it. Okay, so we keep the unbeaten record alive. Man, that was like the toughest North London derby we've had in the series, I think. That was extremely tough. But Samuel Perez got an assist on the first goal. He had a very good game. He didn't look out of place. Like, first Premier League start is the North London derby. He had a solid game for like a youth academy player. All right, so Leandro Trossard has been scouted. Now, his overall, yeah, he's only 79 rated. Like, would he really help us this season? I don't even think so. I feel like Paris is already a player like him that's already better than him. Also, a lot younger, more potential. So, I feel like I'd rather just use Paris than sign Trossard. But we'll see come January. Who knows? Next game, Fulham is going to be 3 0 back to winning ways. Jesus, Neymar, and Jesus. Um, Champions League, we look very comfortably in first tier. So, Ajax again is going to be 3 0. Neymar, Jesus, and Odegaard. All right, is the form starting to pick up a bit again? Um, Wolves is going to be 2 1. Martinelli and Neymar. The win streak stays alive. All right, 13 games in. 10 wins, three draws, zero losses. So five point lead in first. Next game is Newcastle. They're in fifth. They've been a team in the series that have been really good. So uh, Neymar is a little bit tired. So you know what? I think we got to do it again. It is Samuel Paris's episode, pretty much. So he starts on the left wing. Saka moves back to the lineup, and I'll play uh, Gabriel Ferreira over Mr. Uh, Saliba for this game. What can the next Tehran do in this game now? I mean, we're almost in December. We still have not lost a Premier League game. I mean, that's that's pretty good. Odegaard into Samuel Paris. Long shot opportunity. He just got taken out from behind, basically. We are scoring a long shot in this game. I'm calling it right now. Paris to Jesus. Jesus going to try to find Tyranny. Yes, we do. Tyranny into Paris. Paris into Jesus. That's got to be a goal. Okay, Samuel Paris and Jesus got a little bit of uh, chemistry going here. Another assist for Paris. Another goal for Jesus. And that's a very quick 1-0 to Arsenal. Crazy, you're French and your last name is Paris. That's just like so cool. On a guard, Jesus. Jesus try to get it to Paris. That should have been on the outside defender. Paris was in. Leon Bailey. Leon Bailey. He has been so good in this save too. He scored so many goals for Newcastle. But our other youth star, Ferreira, just made a great tackle on that. Jesus over to Gabriel Martinelli. We find a cross maybe out to Saka. Saka into Jesus. The movement is beautiful. Saka, finesse shot. Oh, what a, that would have been a beautiful goal. Corner lifted in. I'm not sure who that is. Oh, it's going to fall. It's going to fall maybe to Ben White. Ben White into Saka. Okay, there's so many people here. Who's going to shoot? It's not going to be Gabriel Ferrer out of all players. Why do I pass it to him? Oh, Jesus, what a ball to Bukayo Saka. That is beautiful. Saka, low driven shot. What a save by Pope. Corner by Martinelli, Odegaard. You're not going to score that, I don't think. This is going to be out to Paris. Paris, we got a long shot. He's basically... Oh, Samuel Paris, what a shot. I can't believe he actually just scored that. He didn't even take a running start. He just he just stood there and shot. What a goal. Bro, it's just like one touch standing and what a shot. That is nuts. Oh, he is playing so good. He's literally the next Thierry Henry and he might be even more than that. He might be the next GOAT. I don't even know. Jesus over to Paris. Paris. Flip it up to Jesus. Not the worst idea, but kind of the worst. I still can't believe he scored that. Okay, he's like my score. Man, Neuer, what a great save. Neuer's been so good. Rams, I was going to be back soon. I feel bad. Like, Neuer kind of deserves to keep playing. Jesus over to Tierney. Tierney cut inside. Beautiful. Tierney, wait for Jesus. Wait for him. Into Jesus. Oh, man, I was going to try to go for like a back heel there. Oh, they're going to score that. They are going to score that. Of course, they found the main man for their team right now, Leon Bailey. All right, two on Arsenal. That was a weak goal. Just, he was unmarked in the box. Don't like to see that. Tierney gives it to Odegaard. Odegaard, hold it up. Whoa, that defender is winning for a tackle. Not smart because Paris into Jesus and Paris has got another assist. Jesus has another goal. They're playing just so well together. Bro, he feels like an 84 rated player, Paris, not 72. I think he's 73 now. He doesn't feel that low rated though. He's giving me a Fernando Rodriguez vibes. Like he's that good maybe. Those who know, know about that. Paris gives it off to Martinelli. Saka, I see you on that far post run. That's going to be, is that going to be handball? That is handball. All right, it's probably Odegaard range. I mean, anyone else? No, it's got to be Odegaard. Look, like I haven't scored a free kick in a minute. I feel like I'm scoring this one though. Odegaard from the free kick spot. I I feel like I'm scoring that one. Maybe not. That was bad. All right, 3-1. Paris has got a uh, goal and two assists, and the man is playing so good right now. Whoa, that's going to be a steal. Paris, oh, we should have stole that. Oh, Saka's in. Saka's in out of nowhere. Saka, chance for... They're going to be four. That was a bad shot, actually. That was way over the net. Pope probably didn't even save that. Martinelli cross in. That is going to be so many people in the way. Paris out to Martinelli. Martinelli, give it back to Paris. Paris, what do we got? We got a left foot shot. Man, these shots look so good, though. What is this long shot? It's probably like in the 70s, maybe, right? It's, it's got to be. Declan Rice into Jesus, into Paris, into Odegaard. That's going to be another assist for Samuel Paris. And 4 1 to Arsenal, courtesy of Captain Odegaard. He got four goals in this game. Each one, uh, Paris has got an involvement. Jesus over to Paris, Paris into Saka. Okay, that was a great tackle right there. Okay, they're just holding the ball in our box for now, and I'm getting a little bit annoyed because they're just holding it, not doing anything with it. Into Fofana, over to, I can't even pronounce it. 
guy's name. That shot is right at Neuer. Okay, we got Smith Rowe, Gallagher, and Firmino coming on. Yeah, this is a pretty good move. Pretty good move. Gabriel Ferrer, though. Great tackle. I like the aggression right there. He's just doing everything right now. Can he go all the way? Does he have the pace, the stamina? I'm not sure he does. I don't think he does. Wait, he might actually. Paris, this is a cool entire field run, and he's going to score. I didn't think he had the pace or stamina for that. Bro, he is just insanely good. Like, I am getting Fidel Rodriguez vibes from him. Five goals, and he's been involved in every single one. It's an example of a player that's a little rated, but it just doesn't feel like it. He feels like, he feels like he's 85 rated. That's a long shot. Okay, that's off the post. They almost just scored a banger themselves. I mean, he is on a hat trick. What can you do here, Paris? Goes around one. Goes around two. Can you go around three? Oh, he can't get around the third. One for like a messy like solo run there. Back out to Tierney. Paris, can you get your hat trick? In to Paris. Paris gets it. Oh, look at the dribbling. It's beautiful. Paris, cross into Firmino. Actually to Smith Rowe. Not a bad cross. That's going to be to Saka though. All right, never mind. But you know what? That's going to be full time. 5-1. What a game for Samuel Paris. That was amazing. Literally, he is the next Tierney Henry. Like he is. And also one more time this goal. It's cleared out. Samuel Paris, one touch, standing, and it's just an absolute screamer. All right, so Paris ready to turn into a left winger finally. So so he's gonna go up to he's actually gonna stay at 73 i thought he would go up in overall i'm kind of surprised hey but he's up there with like some of the best youth players we found i think especially in terms of their debut episode how good they're playing six games four goals and five assists and the episode is not even over yet okay next game we got liverpool at home now they're all the way down in six and this game's at home i might risk a sim here this is extremely risky but i think we're gonna do it this game is gonna be it's gonna be one nil courtesy and neymar okay we survived that game um champions league we've been literally perfect the whole group stage already finishing in first so final game second team that's gonna be two nil courtesy Courtesy of Ike Bravo. Um, Nottingham Forest, that's going to be 2 1, courtesy of Neymar and Gabriel Jesus. Um, West Ham United, that's going to be 3 1, Saka, Rice, and Neymar. So, 17 games in, we are still unbeaten. But we only have a two point lead over Man City. That is crazy. Like, they've been insanely good as well. But the fact that we're this far and still unbeaten, I got to start picking my games like carefully here to play. So, we got Brighton next. They're in 16th, but it's away. So, win this game, we'll be half a season unbeaten. I just feel like Brighton, you know, they're a little bit of a tricky team. I don't feel comfy simming this one, especially because it's away. Okay. Well, they just gave it to Saka immediately. What was that? What is all this space? Neymar into Jesus. Okay, Gabriel Jesus. What kind of finish was that, though? That was actually so bad. That would have been a great start. Okay, Paris is on the bench of this game. He's not starting. And uh, Weston McKenney is in for Declan Rice. That is the changes. Jesus, Saka to Martinelli. Martinelli around one. And that's 1-0. Bro, this team is playing amazing right now. Like, what a finish by Martinelli. Five minutes in, already 1-0. This is one of the strongest, like, first half of the season I think I've ever had in a series. And we're also playing on, like, the hardest side I've ever played on. It shows how good this team is and how good this formation is working. Warner sent in. That's going to be up in Martinelli. That's going to be a long shot. Neuer, great save. I think Ramsdale's going to be back soon. I'm not sure exactly when, but I think it was sometime in January. That was a great-looking corner. That's going to be a header. Into Webster. They got a player down, though, in the box. A little bit awkward, Webster. In to Louis Dunk. Ben White is going to get it out. All right, good ball. In to... See, I think I'm talking about Brighton. They're a tricky team. They just seem like they always play well in FIFA. Like, we might be one nil up, but they just feel like this is going to be a game. Good ball into a player that I don't even know his name of. That's the Brighton way. Neuer, good save, though. Bro, they're giving us issues right now. That's a good block by Saka. Can we get this ball out, please? Neymar. In to Jesus. Whoa, there's so much space for Martinelli. And he's got his second. What is their defense doing? There is way too much space there. Okay, that's going to be a shot. Neuer. Neuer has played so well. What do we do with Ramsdale? Like, Ramsdale's higher rated, but Neuer's played so well. Do we really bench Neuer after he's played this well? Like, we've kept our invincible record. I don't know what to do about Ramsdale. Martinelli's going to win that. Okay, maybe he's not. Actually, he is because the man is a beast. Off it in. That is going to be out by Gabriel. That's going to be a long shot, but Saliba. Good block. All right, Jesus, I think you're on side. We might make this three. The 3-4-3 has just worked so brilliantly, it's not even funny. Defense is so much better, offense so much better, everything is better in this formation and playing style. After all that defending, 3-0 up, that's got to be such a morale killer for Brighton. Naka to Neymar, look at the space, they are not set up to defend us. It's going to be 4. All right, Brighton, good night. I was wrong about this game being tricky. I was absolutely wrong. And that game ends 5-2. Okay, next game is Spurs again, this time in the Carabao Cup quarterfinals. So another chance to beat Spurs. You know what? We haven't worn our white kits in a while. I want to wear the white kit. So we're going to put Spurs in there. That is the ugliest kit I've ever seen in my life. We're going to put him in that kit for bad luck. But Samuel Paris starts. So let's get Iker Bravo in there to start. I'll leave Martinelli. Let's do McKenny. Let's do Gallagher on this right mid spot. And we go with that. So Samuel Paris gets another start against uh, Tottenham. Now we drew with them uh, early episodes. So it'd be nice to beat them here and also nice to. Uh, uh, reach the Carabao Cup semis. I mean, we're going for every trophy possible. Paris, he's had so he just looks, he looks incredibly good. The man is just on fire. I know he, did, he didn't do well there, but he just feels like an 85 rated winger. Does not feel 74 rated or uh, 73. I mean, okay, 
Dembele is kind of an issue, but Tierney, he is more of an issue. Odegaard to Paris. Paris, can we flip it up, Dicker? Bravo, bravo. He's not going to win that. It's going to be like the flare tray. He just knows how to dribble around players. Great ball to Martinelli from, I believe, Odegaard. Martinelli cross in to Bravo. Not going to reach him there. That's going to be a header, though. In to Odegaard. Back to Weston. McKenney long shot, and it's going to go wide. McKenney over to, okay, Gallagher. That touch was incredibly strong. Not in a good way. Oh, no. Good ball. Gabriel, good defending, though. Actually, great defending because that is goal kick. Gabriel, he's like one of the best center backs I've used this year, I think. Like, he's been that good. Tierney up to Paris. Paris into Bravo. Bravo. Oh, I should have just took it with Bravo. I thought Martinelli had the clearer shot. McKenney to Paris. Needs help, though. Paris over to Kieran Tierney. Tierney gets to Bravo. Bravo. Stays with it, but taps so, but it's got a little bit more on it. All right, this is a decent spell. Paris. Paris, finesse shot. He's got the finesse shots. That one had no power, though. Odegaard. Okay, now we're starting to string this passing together. I like it. Where is the goal to show for it, though? McKenny. Bravo. In to Odegaard. Odegaard tries to get it back to Bravo. Bravo. Gets it to Paris. Okay, that was, once again, too much passing, maybe. Tyranny. When Tyranny comes forward, it just means good things. He just dribbled around that man like he wasn't even there. Odegaard. Over to Martinelli. The five at the back makes me look for, like, a much better shot, but... It's almost too much. Paris is up for it, and Samuel Paris scores again. This time from a cross, from a header. He's doing everything. Assisting, scoring in so many different ways. Great cross by Conor Gallagher, but it's Paris that climbs over Tap Soba, a player we could have signed in the series. And that is 1-0 to Arsenal. Man, Paris has been so good. That is the ball into Raul de Tomas. He's going to pass it out. Man, Dembele is, like, really good for them. He's doing so much work on this wing, trying to create chances, but I feel like he's being left out by himself. Although, that's a great chance. Uh, Indica, what a block. This should be halftime 1-0 to Arsenal courtesy of Samuel Paris and I think it will be. All right, Martinelli looking for that shot goes around one beautifully into Weston McKenney. Is there space for that shot? Castile's good save. Odegaard cross in. Weston McKenney's up for it. Not going to be completely up for it though. Ball into Iker Bravo. Gets it to Odegaard. Odegaard find the pass. Bravo. Oh, it's beautiful. Gallagher just I wanted you to take one more touch to the right. Okay, great move. Basuma. I'm looking for that pass. I'm looking for it. I'm looking for it. We blocked it. We blocked it all the way. Gabriel Ferreira, expert defending from the Brazilian. Martinelli into Odegaard. I see Bravo. I see Bravo. Odegaard gets the ball to him. Early shot. Castile's good save, though. I mean, look who it is. It's Paris on a breakaway. Does he have help? Okay, he's got... It's like a one on six right now. Let's slow this down a little bit. Get it over to McKenny. McKenny into Martinelli. Over to Connor Gallagher. Connor Gallagher. Look for the better cross. Flips it up to Paris, but it's going to be right to Castile's. Kenny Bravo into Martin Odegaard. Okay. Oh, I thought he messed that up. What a finish from Odegaard, actually. I thought that weird touch he took ruined that chance, but I guess not. Okay, that was... Spurs just fell asleep. That was very easy. It was just Martinelli to McKenny. Finds Bravo into Odegaard. And then, uh... Just gets it in that little pocket right there. All right, Marquinhos, Martinelli, and then Smith throw is on for Odegaard. We got 20 minutes. Spurs have actually played well, but we have a lead with uh, not much game left. Oh, Smith throw. What a ball to Martinelli. Actually, Marquinhos. I forgot we subbed him on. Marquinhos, can we find Bravo? That was a bit off timed. Get it back out to Tierney. Tierney has the ball. Good things happen. Tierney, cross in. Over two. It's going to be Marquinhos. No, it's not. Gallagher win that. Gallagher win that. What Gallagher? What was that? You know what? McKenney won it. Okay, if they score this, they might make this a game. Tierney. Goal line clearance, basically. Yeah, Spurs didn't play bad this game, but we got the better of them, as it should be with those those horrendous kits. But Samuel Paris, just one of the best, like, debut episodes for a youth player ever on this channel. We are absolutely on fire right now. Samuel Paris, we've added him to the team. Like, this team is insane. What an episode. So, in first of a five-point lead, 18 games in, we are still unbeaten. And uh, Champions League, we went 6-0 in the group stage. Like, yeah, that's pretty good. And also, Samuel Paris is already the fourth highest goal scorer in this team. And he's only played nine games. He is the next Terry Henry, and he's the next big thing in this team like an absolute future star so next episode into the january transfer window we do have like 240 million but i'm not really sure if we make a signing in january like this team is playing so well we might just keep it out it is i don't know but drop a like down below if you enjoyed hit that sub button too click on screen to watch me become ronaldo's agent and hope you have a great day